Libra, 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 welcome. So, this reading focuses on the 3rd till the 10th of April, but obviously whenever you see it, it's the right time to see it. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for all that you so beautifully supported my April um, readings that I put out last week. And for now, in this reading, we're focusing on 3 till 10 April for you. Remember, it's a general reading. Take it as it resonates. We're going to see for you where you currently are, how did you get there, what's coming towards you. You're going to clarify, and then we're going to end up with a crystal oracle card for you to see what is the energy that will best benefit you to focus on at the moment. If it's your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Adrian Nelson. I'm a transformation coach and I also practice spiritual regression hypnosis. Let's get the show on the road. Let's get it rolling. Oh, there's a way too many cards. Many messages for you. Divine, divine, divine. Let's see. Oh, okay. Two things coming your way. Hmm, there's a time when you needed to be kind of patient, you know? Had to sort of wait on the universe's time, which may not have been the most um, enjoyable thing for you to do, but let's see what's happening now going forward. Card of the overall energy for you, the Queen of Swords. Okay, it's time to make some, um, some decisions there, some life decisions, some big decisions over there for what step to take next. And I feel that um, your chosen path may be a little bit, um, let's just say there might be some that might have something to say about this. Okay, <laughs> some people might have something to say about your choices. Um, but I feel that for you, you feel that the actions that you are taking at the moment, um, some might call you sort of irresponsible and reckless and those sort of things, but uh, I feel that you know that this is the best choice for you. Your focus is finally just on you, which is amazing, all right? In the recent past, there's the Hankman, the Six of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. In your current energy, there's the Six of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles and the Temperance card. And then for the energy heading away, you've got the Eight of Wands, the Justice card, and wow, 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 the High Priestess. Like, wow, 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 this is good, okay. So, there is something that you, you know, I feel that you needed to sort of like maybe wait. It could have been a bit of a stall there in the recent past, um, that maybe all you wanted to do was go. You know, you just wanted to go, 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 go. And, but I feel that you reached a point where you actually realized that um, it was in your best interest to, to just hold on just a little bit, you know, um, to just take that breather and to almost allow the universe to come through and to show the path that is most beneficial for you. All right, so there was a bit of a story in which might have initially just freaked you completely out of your mind, but then I found that you actually, it's almost like with all the chaos that might have been going on around you or the craziness, whatever it was, you found a moment of stillness and peace within it and that started to grow, you know? It's like planting a pea in beautiful soil. I grew up in the country, so you've got this beautiful black soil that is just amazing for growing anything really, except watermelons. Um, but you know, it's like putting that pea in the in the in the ground, and it just it just starts to grow, all right. And that is the sort of experience that many of you had there with energy in the past. It's beautiful. Um, and you things started to work out for you. Things started to line up for you. You know, um, where before maybe there was a lot of um, blockages and challenges, and you know, you just boom, 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 kept on running yourself into walls. You know, like, whoop, whoop, whoop. Um, now the things actually started to even out for you. Where in fact, even I feel for many of you, there is some significant moves and changes taking place over here. Whereas before, you might have, you know, whoever it party it might feel that you were overlooked by might actually sort of surprise you over there in the recent past and come to you and say, you know what, how about, you know, this? Like, I mean, you're the perfect person for that sort of thing. Um, I feel that, that you already had some sort of clarity about the picture of how you would like your life to look. And so for some of you, um, 
I'm going to have to clarify that. I'm not sure if you decided to stay or decided to go, but there's something stability had something to do with that. So I'm going to have a look for you now. Um, in your current energy, yeah, you know, this is where you might have had this grand plan with this, um, you know, grand sort of ambitions, but now you're sort of confronted with the truth and everything might not seem sort of like a speaky Spanish you thought that it's going to be. So um, maybe feeling a bit discouraged there at the moment, but then in the same token, what I love so much and what I would like to remind you of, there is also a realization of your true strength, of your true courage, of your um, core authenticity, you know, who you are, what it is that you can do. I feel that as you, um, you know, sort of like recognize these things that are holding you back, um, and also maybe get a, a, a sort of a clarity for why you sort of moved away in the first place, you know, um, or maybe sort of kept more to your own, whatever it is that you chose to do, um, that you, you sort of just, um, you finding that magic inside of you, all right? You are, uh, you, you are finding that, that sort of thing that makes you spark. Okay, it's like me and reading tarot. It doesn't really matter what happens in my life. No matter how happy it is, or no matter how sad or overwhelming it is, I am always happy to read tarot. It's the one thing in the world that can cheer me up just like that. I'm happy to do it, you know. It never feels like a burden to me, ever. Um, and I'm happy that I can share that with you. And you are finding that magic spark within yourself. Okay. And once you find it, and you're busy finding it, once you, you kind of found that, you're running the show. Like you are just, um, you've got so much clarity, you've got so much vision, you've got, you can see the path ahead of you, even if others don't see it. You, I, I see you being very committed at the moment. I see you going ahead and even if people are not on your side that you maybe would have expected to be on your side. And this is beautiful, what I sense is that you're just going like, you know what? It's fine. It's about releasing with love and about compassion and understanding and not sort of staying in one space too long in one sort of mind space, emotional space too long. It's more like, okay, if it doesn't work, I'm going to move on from here. It's that simple. Okay. Um, and then for the energy coming to it, just something more here. Yeah? There's also a brand opportunity coming for you this week. They specifically want me to share that with you. Um, for the energy coming towards you, um, there's a lot of emotional, sort of that beautiful, restful place inside that just feels nice, that just feels kind. That is coming your way. There's a lot of sort of frustrations that are evening up, maybe blockages with family and stuff like that, really easing up, and you are reaching to such incredible, wonderful heights. Things are definitely hooking up for you. Okay. Let's clarify the Queen of Swords. Things are so looking up for you. Let's clarify this Queen of Swords for your overall energy. Okay, okay. Boy, so you got the King of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups. So your commitment is really towards yourself. Um, your commitment is to find that really um, not just the spark, but the origin of the spark within yourself. Okay, um, to find that magic within yourself, to to find that emotional. Um, stable flow within yourself. That is where you're at at the moment. And you are willing to do the work, you are willing to go the distance, you are willing to, if it means that you've got to study a new course, if it means that you've got to create a new course, you know, uh, whatever it is that you need to do, you've got that willingness to do it. And not only the willingness, but also the commitment and the sort of go through, the follow through. Okay. And wonderful things coming your way. You know what, Libra, this is so wonderful for me to see this. Wonderful things coming your way. Um, maybe contracts could be closed, the right opportunities coming. That experience sort of like being at the right place at the right time type of thing, that is really heading your way for you in this world. So that is a really beautiful energy to be at in this moment because this is what you aligned yourself with. All right. 
Let's clarify the statement of cups in your current energy. Right. That went stuck over there, but I'll let you know that I did see the tower card. So looking at the seven of cups in your current energy, we got the four of pentacles, the moon, and the strength card. So for some of you, there's a tendency when you get, I'm talking about money or I don't know, a bag of apples, whatever. When you get, you just want to give. All right. You just want to give and give and give and give and give. Now, there's nothing wrong with giving. But be mindful that you don't give so much that you place yourself in a, in a space where you don't have. Because it's much easier to receive and to still share, but to consciously give, to share in such a way that you still remain in the space where you have. So you don't have to have the experience of the lack. Because it's, it's more difficult to grow from the experience of the lack back into the space of abundance. And for some of us, it, it is quicker than others. But the simple truth is, it's easier to, uh, to move, to stay in the space of abundance, as opposed to the abundant flow, the lack flow, because now you need to get out of the lack first. So from the lack, you need to get back in the abundance. Then you have the abundance, and then you give, 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 and then you don't have. And you, you know what I'm saying? So um, if you want to serve humanity optimally, as I can see that you do, make sure that your cup remains full. Because you can't serve from an empty cup, and you can't serve your best from a quarter cup either. You know what I'm saying? You are able to, you are called to really be that beacon of light, that light, that house on the hill that shines, that gives people hope. You are encouraged to shine and to do so in a way that helps humanity fully. Now, for many of you, you're going like, no, 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 that isn't me. I shouldn't be doing that. That is not how I've been brought up. That is not how the world works. I should share. I should, I should, I should, and I should, and I should. All right. Um, and nobody said that you are wrong. But you want to ask yourself, where is that coming from? Because sometimes when we feel that we need to give so much um, to a point that it brings us out of alignment, you know, or bring us into the lack, the experience of experiencing lack and limitation, then it often does come from a space within ourselves, unresolved feelings and emotions or situations that we haven't quite dealt with yet. Okay. So if you are having that, do yourself the huge beautiful favor, do yourself the honor of doing that introspection and asking, is there maybe certain things that I still need to deal with? All right. I have to believe that it is our sole responsibility on this earth to take care of our bodies because you only have one. All right. You mess that one up, you got to go home. <laughs> okay. So if you do that inner work and you allow yourself to feel what it is that you feel, you know, cry if you must cry. It's your breakthrough. Okay. Tears are powerful. Think of tears almost like, imagine you sort of like, I know, tied up in ropes, for example, and you cry and your tear goes down there like, kabloop, you know. It softens the experience for you and that's how you break through the barriers. Look at the Eight of Pentacles in your current energy. We've got the Magician, the Seven of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles. Huh. Ha ha ha, I did like it. So, you, listen when I say you've got it, I mean you've got it. <coughs> you see, you're taking my breath away. Let's have a drink of water. You take my breath away. So, you have got it, you've 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 got it. Like, you've got it. You are the solution to your own problems. Um, also with the emotions that you are fighting there are still some emotions that you are fighting inside but you know what you're getting better with that and that in itself also expands for you um, your experience of life your life is unfolding you are in a space where you are busy taking control of things of your own life let me just get the card that went to the floor there what is this message that they want us to know four of wands ooh, ooh, ooh. So for, there's, there's a beautiful emotional stability coming about, which usually, um, you know, 
can indicate marriage, high level commitment. But it's also all those wonderful, beautiful things in life that, that sort of when you, you know when you walk down the road sometimes, um, where I live, there's an absolutely beautiful garden. I had this experience the other day where I just thought to myself, I'm always running up and down, you know, through this garden. So you just stop a moment and you pause and you're like, mm, this is so, so beautiful. Okay. And as you have that experience, you, and I'm smiling when I'm saying that, <clears throat> you attract yourself with the wonderful things that sit well in your heart. And that's normally when you find um, that life partner, which becomes the person that you marry. So I don't know if I just gave myself a prophecy there now, but okay. Um, in my experience, when I normally have the four of ones, for some reason, there's always a young girl or a young feminine energy involved. Now... Um, if it's in my case, the young girl or the young feminine energy is probably going to have to be a child or someone because, um, you know, in my case, I would rather maybe opposite, opposite, I would maybe rather marry like a, like a young man, or maybe not too young. Um, anyway, that's about me blabbering about my own life. <laughs> Let's look at the temperance card in your current energy. But there's something really unique and beautiful here for you, huh? There's something really beautiful here for you, Libras. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. Slow me down if you can. So clarifying the temperance card, the first card out there that came out was the eight of wands. And we're not looking at what's coming towards you just yet, but I want to show you that for the card that's looking towards you, you've got the eight of wands. So something is starting in the prison that is flowing beautifully into your rest of your life. So there's a beautiful sequence that's taking place over here, okay? Finding that inner strength within this world, finding yourself, and for many of you, you go into the space where you find yourself, and when you now really find yourself or found yourself, you're like, oh, bollocks. Um, oh, what does this mean? How do I even do this? So there is a bit of uncertainty also that follows there for you, but then let's look at this eight of wands that follows all the way through. In fact, before I do, let me just draw another card for that additional eight of wands that did come through. Okay, I thought that was coming out. Evidently it's not. Let's see. Okay, there's a card flying out. And you've got the world in reverse. All right. So that is letting you know that you've got this and also the past cycle is at an end some of you are trying to you know maybe not consciously but think about it actually trying to recreate the past it's been, you know one thing that i actually learned um the first time that i went overseas i think i went for almost eight months and i came back and the whole world has changed and it's very difficult to sometimes adapt back into that change you know especially also where we are right now a lot of um you know, a lot of us have been staying indoors. We haven't gone outside. And, um, you know, it's it's an adaption to this new world at the moment. Let's clarify the Eight of Wands for you. Okay, there's one card sticking out. Oh, look at you. You've got the Hero from the Death card and the Queen of Pentacles. So, as the challenges come forward and they maybe make you feel a little bit of, of unrest coming towards you, Libra, Know that you can move forward. Know that the universe is on your side. Know that you've got what it takes, okay? Know that you already have it. You're going through a period of incredible transformation, leaving behind the past, going into the new, and you're also getting new insights on how to live your life more sort of on your terms, you know, for those of you concerned about making money, maybe finding a job, that sort of thing. There's brand new insights that you are getting here on what it is that you can actually do. You are following those insights and from what I can see, they are definitely pointing in a very positive direction. Okay, let's look at the Justice card for the energy that's coming towards you. Libra, come on, slow me down. Ace of Pentacles, Justice and Knight of Cups. So, you got two Justice cards, Justice clarified by Justice. And then as if that is not enough, it actually starts with the Ace of Pentacles, followed by the Knight of Cups, which is my personal favorite card in the Ride Away Tarot deck. So divine intervention, the money is coming. Somebody I feel is investing in you. Um, a lot of things that you are worrying about, that is kind of going out of the way. And you are encouraged to just go ahead and just be clear with like, this is what I'd like, this is what I'd like, this is what I'd like. I'd like that, I'd like that, I'd like that. I want it, I want it, I want it. Life's like, okay, okay, okay. Let's have some fireworks. Let's celebrate you. Let's give you what it is that you'd like to have. Now, there's something really incredible heading your way. Um, we've got the high priestess there. 
So let's see what we've got after the High Priestess. Hmm. Eight of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Four of Swords. Moving away from limitations, new beginnings, reaching for your own core inner strength. Let's say one more card. Let's see. There's one sticking out. Five of Swords. No, there's no more fighting in you for previous situations. It's almost like you're finding yourself. I feel returning to a situation or like a past situation and or, or like, I don't know if you're kind of moving from somewhere to or somewhere. Then you get back and you're like, huh. Oh, well, I don't need to pay attention to this and this and this and that. So you're just sort of very happily doing yourself, which I love because it pays off really well and others can benefit too, if you'd like them to. All right. And if that resonates with you, Libra, take it a nice deep breath, claim that for yourself. Even if you're not a Libra, there's a little bit of Libra in all of us, you know, take a nice deep breath, claim that for yourself. Um, if the reading resonates, I'd really appreciate you liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing. To all of you that are already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for your support. Remember to also hit that notification bell so you get to know when my readings are coming up. And if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, then my email address is down below. Send me a message and we find a slot to do a reading for you. Okay. You're getting your Crystal Oracle card just to see what we're finishing off with you. What is the energy that you want to focus on? If you have the crystal with you, you can work with that energy. If you don't have the crystal with you, you can just open yourself to that particular energy. If you happen to have a rose course with you, which is this sort of... Where is that? There we go. Sort of like clear course. It looks almost like glass. Well, it is clear course. It looks almost like glass. Clear course can be programmed to do anything. So just hold it. Breathe into your heart space. Envision that light from the heart space moving into the crystal. And speak to it and ask it for assistance in what it is that you'd like it to assist you with. Okay. Card that we've got for you is Orpament, which speaks of success. So, again, this is over and over the same thing really in your reading Libra success 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 is heading your way open yourself to that see you all next time bye